Do you suck at aiming? Would you like to get better? Well, with this one cool trick, you can improve your aiming in just 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, man, uh, people call me clickbaity enough, I figure I might as well embrace it. Huh? How's it going, everybody? Force here. And today, I will, in fact, actually show you how to improve your aim in just 10 minutes. Uh, this is a neat little trick that I picked up earlier today from Solar Hound. You guys should check him out. There'll be a link to his YouTube video in the description below. Pretty simple concept, though, and it's the idea of using the inclusion of Anna's AI and the fact that she can't get headshots to practice your own headshots. So here's the setup here. We're going to go into a custom game. We're going to add AI. And yes, we're going to add Ana. Now, you could have done something similar to this in the past with Zarya because she also can't get headshots. But she's really not the best AI for this sort of practice. And I'll get into why that is a little bit later. You want to set the difficulty to hard and fill up team two, which will be your opposing team. I then want you to go into settings and go to the rule set. Set it to skirmish. This way, we don't have to worry about running out of time or anything you get plenty of time in skirmish mode and set the map to whatever you want I, I'll happen to do it to Gibraltar here then scroll all the way down to the gameplay options and set the damage modifier to 200% this will make it so that every headshot you get will be a one-shot kill I like to set the ability cooldown to zero because I'm practicing on McCree and combat rolls infinitely are nice and then headshot only set to on and this is the key thing because we have Ana as our opponent and we're set to headshots only and she can't can't get headshots, it means you never take damage, and it's a perfect way to practice on moving targets getting headshots on your own accord. So when you hop into the game, you pick whatever hero you want. I, um, again, I'm practicing on McCree, but any hero that can get headshots, you can practice this on, one that you just want to improve with, and then you just head out towards the enemy spawn. Every time you kill an Ana, a new one will spawn back, and you can do this multiple ways. You could try to keep killing them one at a time, you could try to kill them as a group, so they all are like overwhelming you, but the the big thing is that you're able to practice on moving targets. Now what I did was I practiced in two different methods. One way was I practiced just standing still. I didn't move, I actually didn't even touch my keyboard. It was just my hand on my mouse and I'm just trying to hit the targets as they're moving, as they take a brief pause, wherever. I'm just trying to get headshots because body shots don't count. You actually have to land the headshot. Just practicing like this and once I started to get comfortable with that, I then started to incorporate some moving. I tried different scenarios on different elevations. I tried on different maps. I tried to make sure that I was only hitting while she was strafing or during pauses. I tried to make sure I was chaining multiple headshots together so I was getting multi-kills. All sorts of different things. And what I found was that just being able to practice headshots in a closed environment was very nice. And after just about 10 minutes, I noticed that I was hitting headshots more frequently. And then after about 30 minutes and trying this on a few different maps with those different variables as I mentioned, elevation, strafing, standing still, whatever, I felt my aim getting significantly better and to the point where I was actually confident that I could hit headshots reliably. Now as I said earlier Zarya you could do this in the past with her before Ana was included to the AI options but she wasn't a good choice because she would always run towards you in a straight line and enemies just running towards you in a straight line are kind of easy to hit and then they would just all stand around you using their basic attack so it, it's just a lot better essentially with Ana. They stay at a relatively far distance and they are constantly strafing and then you can adjust your distance by moving a little bit further back if you want to practice getting those headshots from a further distance or moving a little bit closer to them if you want to practice up close headshots. And with her constant strafing, this forces you to do more tracking and prediction as to where she's going. Now, of course, this isn't entirely representative of an actual match because in a match, there's a lot more going on. You risk actually taking damage and there are characters that are bunny hopping with different size models. Some are in the air, some are climbing walls, whatever. But I found that this was at least one of the best ways to practice getting headshots because you can't really practice that in a real match. And if you can more reliably land headshots through this practice, you can, of course, more reliably land those body shots because they're that much easier. Now, if you want to up the difficulty, you can remove the 200% damage modifier, which will force you to get multiple headshots to kill Ana. Again, my goal was, can I hit headshots consistently? And if I can't, I'm going to follow that up with a body shot anyways. It's a very rare situation where I'm going to try to hit two headshots on the same character in a row, unless they're, of course, a tank. At the end of the day, though, after practicing this, I think I put in a grand total of an hour. I feel a lot better about my aim. I really do. Like, I'm not exaggerating. This isn't just some make-believe thing. And, and you can always play in custom game mode against AI as a method of practicing your headshots. You can make it so that no one was dealing any damage, essentially throw a healer on your team and do it that way. But I like the idea of this mode where you're not taking damage ever and you are solely practicing your 
your aim. You're trying to, to focus on this one aspect of the gameplay and not worry about all of the other things. Because if you can hone and focus and practice this one thing and get better at that, then you'll just be better all around when you actually play against real people. All right, guys, that is going to do it for me here today. Once again, I want to give a big shout out and thank you to Solar Hound because if it wasn't for his video, I wouldn't have even thought to try this, at least not right now. So go check him out. His uh, link is in the video description below. And thanks to you guys, as always, for watching. Uh, be sure to let me know what you think of this method. If you try it out, let me know if you feel like it helped improve your aim. I certainly feel like it's helped mine. So I'm, I, I'm super excited. I mean, this is why I wanted to share it with you guys. Thanks again. Hope you all have a fantastic afternoon. And until next time, I'll see you later.